What's up guys, Randy here, bringing you back to another Pokemon Showdown Live. Now, it's been a very long time since I've done one of these. Crap, my phone. Uh, it's been a very long time since we did one of these, but, uh, you know, I did uh, look into getting a revamp done for the thumbnails. So, uh, I just looked around and I found a guy called Ezek on Twitter. I actually found him through T-Train a while back. Uh, he's uh, another PokeTuber friend of mine, I guess you can say. Uh, always, you know, asking him for stuff, asking me for stuff, you know, from time to time. So, uh, you know, I found it through him. He's got very, very clean artwork. Very, very clean. His artwork and style is pretty awesome. I love it. Uh, looks very, like, I don't know what you would call it. I definitely would say it looks a little bit more mature than my artwork I get through Poke Knight. His artwork is very colorful and very, you know, uh, you know, I love his artwork. Don't get me wrong, I love it. But, like, Ezek has a different style to it. And I think it fits the showdown slash uh, Wi-Fi style a little bit better. So, uh. I'll definitely use Poke Knight for my LPs and other stuff, but uh, Ezek, I'll probably go to him for some other various like competitive, you know, style thumbnails. So very cool, very cool. So I got that done. So I thought, you know, let's get back into showdown because I want to get better as a battler. I want to get better at laddering. I want to get better at team building. So I feel like I just need to just grind it out, and we'll have fun too. I'll, I'll have to bring on some guests from time to time, do some fun like you know group showdown live laddering or some fun teams and stuff like that. So I, I look forward to it. This next step, this next step to the ch channel. It's me stuttering right there. Uh, it's gonna be fun. So here is the standard OU live here. Um, we got a physical attacking Mega Mega Mega, mega Metagross. Sorry guys, I'm just kind of tired right now. Um, this is actually a team that I built. Usually I use other teams that are not built by me. Like I'll find them or use them. But uh, this one was built by me a couple of months back. I actually used it in a Wi-Fi battle against Poise, except I used a Blissey over Chansey because I didn't want to be mean. But you know, it's just almost the same thing. But we have a physical, you know, standard Jolly Mega Metagross with four attacks. I'm actually running T-Punch over Earthquake or Grass Knot just because I like it better. Hit Skarm, hit Slowbro a little bit. Uh, you know, I just like it. We have a defensive Zapdos with Defog. I used to run Static with, like, no hazard control on this team. But it hasn't been working out very well, so I just got rid of HP Ice and just ran Pressure and Defog. So, we have a Keldeo. Uh, Rust Leap Talk, Life Orb. Pretty standard stuff, pretty standard set there. A Choice Scarf Picadile, which works very nicely in the tier. It's, pr it's pretty nice. Uh, it does work from time to time. We have Sigilith, Life 4 4 attacks, which is a very good mod. Comes in clutch a lot. And then we have a Chansey. Chansey just stealth rocking. It's not a good stealth rocker. Like, I need to find. I feel like Chansey is the weakness, the weak hole in this, in this uh, team. It does get, I do have T Wave on it, so I can slow down stuff for Sigilith and, uh, you know, potentially Keldeo and Mega Metagross to come in and late game sweep. But, you know, I have some success with it off-screen, so hopefully I can continue on-screen. So let's just find a battle here. I did a few test battles, test recordings, and I've been getting, like, making some very bad plays already. So hopefully I can, you know, get some good stuff going. Because, uh, you know, I'm, like, around, like, just below 500 on the ladder, I believe. I mean, I'm not very... I can't ladder for crap, so I'm not very high. Uh, we have a Noivern and an Embor. Hello? Timer's up immediately. Okay. Sigilyph does work. Chansey, of course. Okay. So does Keldeo. I actually expect him to lead Noivern, to be honest. I'm going to lead Sigilyph. As he does lead with the Noivern, of course, like I expected. I don't want to take a Draco or a Boom Burst or anything like that. So I'm just going to go on the Chansey right here. If he decides to U-turn or whatever, that's fine. He doesn't immediately just release the Draco from the sky. And I'm just going to get up rocks here. I mean, I could T-Wave, but he'll probably go Skarm anyway. So, let's just rock here. He might go on Embor straight up. There's Lando T, of course. Okay. All right. So, uh, I'm guessing this is a rocking set. It looks to be. Uh, I'm just going to zap this right here in case he decides to go for, like, a superpower if he has it. Let's go knock off. Okay. So, he is leftovers. Okay. So, he's definitely defensive, as we see. Right there. Uh, he's probably going to get up rocks. He might have Stone Edge, so that can be a thing. Um, I can easily go into Keldeo right here, because he's probably going to get up rock anyway. So, I'll just go into Keldeo here. Keldeo does work too. It really does. Chansey's here, but I have Secret Sword for that. Emborg is body. This thing is body. Skarmory gets destroyed. Noivern's a bit of a problem, but Chansey kind of walls it. I mean, it does wall it. So, if I keep Chansey around, and even Metagross does work against it too. I mean, it has Flamethrower and stuff like that, but... You want to appreciate it, so... Let's go into Keldeo right here as he does go for a double into Chansey, so that's not bad for me. Uh, I can just go for a Secret Sword immediately. If he wants to go into his Skarm or his Noivern, so be it. I don't care. I'm assuming, I'm assuming Embor is Scarf. I'm going to assume he's Scarf. I, just, I think he is. 
Uh, I feel like it's the only way it can do work. I mean, Choice Band is the way to go, definitely, in my opinion, but... That is 37%. Holy damage. Okay. Um, I'm just going to go Chansey right here. If he goes Embor, so be it. I have Zap, so... As he does double down to Embor, not bad. But he's taking Rocks damage, so I don't mind that at all. Uh, I'm going into Zap 100%. He's taking Rocky Helmet damage, taking Recoil if he wants to go Flare Blitz. If he has Stone Edge, go so be it. I don't care. I mean... Let's see. As he, see, he, see if he takes advantage of this play. He does go Flare Blitz. That just easily knocks me out there. Uh, he is actually Life Orb, so that's good to know. I can go into Keldeo right here and just easily go for a Scald. He doesn't have a switch into this. I'm actually going to calc a Secret Sword and see if it kills. I'm sure it does. I'm just going to make sure, though. I, I, I'm almost certain it does. I'm almost certain it does. I know you get Sucker Punch, but I mean, like, that's not even a thing. 54 to 65. Yeah, okay. As he does go into his Chansey, he's going to get destroyed. So nice. There we go. And I can just go for that again. I can actually Scald here, I think, but... Uh, yeah, let's just Scald right here. Just protect. Um, Scald kills Chansey. It is 8%, right? I mean, come on. Come on. There we go. Okay, cool. So there goes Chansey. That's the huge wall for my Sigalith. Sigalith has worked now a little bit. It's faster than Landers because you know it's defensive. It beats Skarm. It can, at least. Goes back into Noivern. Again, if he wants to double out, so be it. I mean, I don't mind because, again, he dies to rocks. So, I mean, so be it. He does Draco. That's fine. Uh, I can just toss right here and kill... Not kill Embor, but I can... I mean, he dies to rocks. Let's toss here. It was in the scar, that's cool. He's going to have to defog right here, 100%. He does hide the Rocky Helmet, as you can see there. He's going to defog 100%. I can go into Sigalith right here and just like win the game pretty much. I also be a Metagross pre mega. I mean, I won't kill it one shot, but I feel like I might have to. Mm. Let's go Sigalith here. Let's go Sigalith. He's in a default. He has no another play to make. Gets rid of rocks. Not a big problem though. I can go for a Heat Wave. I think. I think. He does go inboard. I know I get Sucker Punch. I'm not going to fall for it. Um, it would definitely kill Life Orb. Definitely. I think I have to go Crook right here. Crook. I mean, it beats Metagross, too. Mm. But with all those flying types... I'm just going to go to Crook. He does Wild Charge right here, so interesting. Uh, I outsped, though, so that was kind of a weird play. Um, Knockoff's just a fine play. It should kill from that range. He goes back into Skarm. Knock off this helmet. Not a big deal. Uh, he's probably going to get up his own rocks, I think. I'm going back into Sigilyph right here. So, again, Sigilyph just wins the game for me. If I kept the rocks, it would have been nice, but... Yeah, so you can go for a Heat Wave right here. It will kill Embor. Well, I mean, I can Psychic after that, but... He went Wild Charge there. I guess predicting Keldeo. I guess. Or maybe... I mean, it hits Sigilyph too, but... I mean, Sucker Punch would have been a better play for him. Because I outspeed. So I'm Ice Beam right here. Kill this thing. Metagross isn't a big deal. Because I have, I have a Crocodile in the back. And I want to get rid of his... Nice, there it is. Okay. So he's forced to go either Metagross or uh, Noivern. That's all his only plays. Um, I don't want to be like uh, I know he has Sucker Punch. Like that's not even a thing. He has it. Like he has to have it. I don't need Chanty necessarily. And he takes a he takes a buttload of recoil too. I'm gonna sack Chanty. He does Sucker, so I knew that was coming. Uh, I can just get up rocks here. I think. I mean, I'm going to die anyway, so... Let's go for Hammer Arm, dropping his speed. He's re recoil. I can go on the Crook right here and click Knock Off and just, like... Well, he has Skarm still. Uh... He's knock Off still to play, though. Back on the Skarm. Hmm. Metagross is the only one that takes a shot from... I'm going to Metagross, though. Whatever. Gonna roost up, that's fine. I can just spam Meteor Mash, I think. And try to get a boost. Gonna get spikes up, that's fine. I have T Punch. I have T Punch. I'm gonna T Punch now. Scare him up a little bit. 47%. He didn't roost up there. There we go. So that caught him, that caught him definitely. He didn't expect that at all. So he's not, he's not gonna be able to roost up here. He's gonna have to go into his own Metagross right here. 
I could double right here, but that's risky. He does sack it, so that's nice. So at this point, it's just up to Crocodile to, to kill Metagross. As long as I keep, as long as I get a little bit of damage off, it's fine. Uh, let's bullet punch kill. That's my only play right now. I mean, it's my only play, but I want to make sure. I don't think it does. I think it resisted four times, right? 18 and 21. Oh, it kills. Nice. Not bad. Okay. So Crook wins the game as well as uh, Sick of Lift, depending on how he wants to play it. And Caldeo is still here too. Caldeo outspeeds uh, Metagross pretty mega, but he's going to mega right now. And he does forfeit there, so that's a good game to him. He just leaves though. Let's see if he moves a little bit on the ladder. Again, I'm not very high on the ladder whatsoever. I mean, at least compared to OU standards. Let's see. I want to see where we went. See how many points he had as well. Uh, he was 1520. Okay. So I went back into 1600. Not bad. Okay. So this is going to be a bit of a shorter live. About 10 minutes left. I'll go a little bit shorter just because, you know, 30 minute video seems so scary. So I don't want to do that. Let's just uh, keep it a bit short, right? Uh, we got a very, very fat team. Wow. Scizor, ter Scizor terrifies me. Not going to lie. I want to lead with... I think Keldeo is not a bad lead. Oh, Scizor is such a threat though, man. Oh, man. Let's lead Keldeo. He does lead with the Magnazone. I don't want to risk a Scarf. I don't want to risk that at all. So let's just go into Chansey here. He's going to Volt Switch anyway. So, yeah. Okay. So back on the Scizor. That's not a big deal. I have to go zap immediately. He's gonna probably go for a uh, Swords Dance. I don't know why he would, but he's gonna go for Superpower actually. Okay. As he's actually, I'm guessing he's banded. Yeah, he's at Metagross. He's probably banded. So oh, that's fine then. I guess he can go for Discharge, predicting a switch here. Okay, cool. I should Heat Wave. Wow, that guy just took a risk, man. Well, we we could confirm a Scarf here or a Specs. So, we, I mean, there's no confirm there, confirmation, because we're tied. But I, I, he's Scarf. I mean, he wouldn't have stayed against Caldeo turn one. So, let's Heat Wave right here. Hopefully, it's not going to burn on offensive landers. Okay. Does knock off. Nice. Taking more damage. I can roost up right here. Can't kill him with any other move. Yes, he has. Uh, he's probably a choice lock, too. So, um, I can probably just Heat Wave right here. To Mungus, nice, 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 nice. Fifty-one percent, no burn. That's fine. I mean, I'm surprised he hasn't gone into his, his heat ran yet. So if he's gonna spore, it's not a big deal. I think Keldeo's a play because if he spores after sleep talk, if he goes into, into heat ran, I kill it. He does spore. That's completely fine. I have sleep talk, so it's not a big deal. I don't know why he stayed in there, but I mean, whatever. It is what it is. He does sledge bomb gets the poison? Of course, just my luck. And I can just... I need this for defogging purposes, though. I'll just discharge. I don't know why he made that play. I mean, uh, good for him, but I mean... It's a crit. Let's take a lift to play. Now Heat Ranch should come out. That should be a given. I mean, having Caldeo asleep isn't that big of a deal, but it sucks because I... Um, what is it? Now I, I will be able to pick my moves freely, you know. I mean, he's this guy's scarf. Like you can't trick me, dude. <laughs> like your scarf, I'm not falling for it. Okay, I mean, he's a specter scarf, but that's scarf. Look at that damage. Uh, I want a Brox now because I don't like this guy switching around so much. Moongus comes out. I could go for a switch into Sigilyph right here. If he has a knockoff, so be it. Whatever. Let's for Spore, and this guy just like completely forgot about Sleep Calls. I guess what the heck. I don't know what that was. It was an assist or I have heat wave for this thing. I mean, do I live a bandit bullet punch though? That's the question. Probably not. Uh, I, I take risks though. Nice. Okay, cool. I don't know why he did that. I guess it was a misclick, I guess. I don't even know. Or he just forgot. I mean, I don't know how he does that though. Okay, so he's, he's going to take one for sure. But uh, I can't really let him get damage off without uh, being punished for it. Let's just heat wave here. That actually all oh, is a crit. That sucks. I mean, 
<laughs> any move would have killed me, so that's unfortunate for him. But I don't know why he did that, knowing he had a heat ran in the back. It just completely walls me. So, I mean, it's kind of on him because he didn't really need to do that, in my opinion. I just going to go back into Keldeo here. There's Lava Plume. Uh, I'm going to sleep talk once. I mean, I could go for like a Scald. He actually Choice Scarf Heat ran. Wow. Interesting. So, I'll probably wake up right here. So, of course, I get a rest. It doesn't even pay off. So, I think I'll wake up here. I guess I don't. Okay. Uh, back in the Chanty. As always, go for Sludge Bomb. Poison doesn't matter too much. And I guess I can go for a... Seismic Toss, I suppose. And injure him just a little bit. Spamming Sludge Bomb, not a big deal. Uh, I, I just want Sigilyph to take any unnecessary damage. Nah, forget it. I'll go into it. Oh, the crit. Okay. I mean, that's not a huge deal, though. Psychic. Hit, hit ran just a little bit. Taking rocks. That's not a big deal. He is Scarf, as we know already. Um, Crocodile speed. So Crocodile can win here. Amoongus needs to get killed. I'm saving this for Amoongus, even though Metagross takes it on anyway. Uh, I'll just sack Chansey here. I'll just sack Chansey. Not a big deal. Okay. Hmm. I, I guess I can soft boil here. And Sizing Toss. Amoongus is annoying, but I mean, whatever. He's going to Sludge Bomb again. I'm going to meet a Metagross right here. As he does go for the Sludge Bomb. Nice. I can go for a Zen Headbutt right here. Should kill. There we go. That should seal the deal. He's got Magnet Zone at 6%. I mean, Hidden Power of Fire does not kill me. So I don't know what he's thinking. T Bolt doesn't do enough. Bullet Punch and Kill from this range. Obviously, it's at like 2%, 1%. And we know Landorus is at low enough. It's not faster than my Crook. His Scarf Heat ran. I can just... Um, was Landorus? I think it was... We, we didn't confirm, we didn't confirm a Scarf, but we know it's Choice Lock for sure. Uh, I'll save this for priority, I guess, in case, you know, it's a problem. Um, I'll just go Keldo here. I should wake up the next turn anyway. Guess not. Thanks a lot, Keldeo. Oh, well, not a big deal. I don't need it. Okay. I can just go into Crook here and kill it with Knockoff, I think. It should kill. Yeah. And, I, and of course, Landorus brings him back to uh, neutral, but I have to rock to die, so that's going to be a good game to him. Good game. And that should pretty much end the live here. Again, shorter shorter live just because, you know, trying to get back into the swing of things, you know? You know what I'm saying? Nice. So we do get the win there. So good game to him. I've been GG. Uh, I mean, some people, some people on the higher ladder are kind of uh, mean. So when I type in GG, they're just like, whatever. And then they blow me off. So, you know, they just, not, I mean, it's not wrong. And then they just like, forget about what I say and just like run away. So, but anyway, I think it concludes today's live, guys. Right, 1629. Just a shorter live. I'll continue to do another OU live. Um, you know what? Let's go another one. Forget it. Forget I just said that. Let's just go. Keep going. One more battle should be fine. I'm confident I can pick up one more win. And we got Rain. Nice. Fantastic. I haven't tested this team against Rain. Wow. Okay. He's only got one Swift Swimmer. So that's not a big deal. I think... I think I have to leave Sigilith right here. Let's see Politoed. I can go for Energy Ball straight up. I mean, so I, uh, Water Move is going to wreck me. It was Encore. I did 44%, but it dropped this bit so that's nice. Um, he's not going to stay in. That's not even an option for him. He's going to go into either his Torn or his Thunderous, which I don't have a real good switch into it. Uh, Crook is the only one that outspeeds, but I'm not about to make that risk. I'm going to Chansey right here. Get up rocks. To punish him. I'm going to toss right here. I'm going to toss. He's going to Pert right here. He's the only physical attacker on the team. Or Pharaoh to punish me. Okay. 
Okay, I want to rocks though immediately. I want to force him to spin. He's probably gonna leech you right here or rocks. That's not a big deal either. Um, I can go into my Zapdos and just uh, I don't want to defog them away necessarily. Oh, I guess I do have to now with spikes. That's, that's, that's annoying. That's annoying. Okay. Okay. Spike Stealth Rock. Again, that's stalling out rain, buddy. Go ahead. That's not a big deal. I mean, if you want the free switch into something else, that's fine. Oops, went back. That's fine, dude. Just stall out your own rain. Goes into Pert. He's only going to have one more turn of rain. He wants to time this right and go for a... Uh, for a... Um, a rain dance, I suppose. He goes Waterfall. 1000%. I'm actually gonna roost here. I think he's well. Yeah, let's roost. That does 55%. He takes Rocky Helmet. He's gonna rain dance right here. Why, why did I lose to this monster? Does Ice Punch though? It's not bad. Not bad. Uh, I'm surprised he doesn't have rain dance on this thing. I, I'm sure he has. He has to have it. I mean, what else is he gonna run? I'm going to Heat Wave predicting an Earthquake. He does double out into his Thunder is Nice. So taking some juicy Heat Wave. And a Burn, so not bad. Uh, this team might have Rain Dance, actually. On the Chansey right here. On his Volt Switch, that's not a big deal. Going to Toad, I would presume. Back into Pert. Okay. Um, I could Toss right here or get up Rocks. I'm going to Zap, though. I'm going to Zap. Does waterfall? Why is he okay? All right, I am faster still. We know that for a fact. He's probably gonna quake right here. I would think. I mean, I'm gonna go roost anyway. Switch out the thunderous again. So he's either gonna be spectre scarf. I think he's scarf though. The way he's playing this. I think he's scarf the way he's playing this. I'm going to chancy again. He's wearing down Chansey a bit, which is annoying, but, you know, he might Ice Punch right here, I bet. Does Waterfall, 30%, oh, I eat that up, oh my goodness, of course. He's an Ice Punch right here, oh no, 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 don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. Waterfall, okay. More Rocky Helmet, not a big deal. He does not speed, I can go for a Heat Wave here, I can just Roost up, that's fine. As he finally goes for Earthquake, there he goes, he finally made the play. But it's a bit too late. Sigalift comes in, goes for a sidekick should kill, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. I mean, there's nothing wrong with an energy ball, though. There's nothing wrong with it. Because, uh. Oh, I should have sidekicked. <laughs> I should have sidekicked. Okay. Well. Nothing wrong, my bad. Okay, so. Crook can come in clutch late game because they can outspeed. So I'm going to sack Chansey. I should have sidekicked there. I can go back to his toad, I think. I, I could be playing this a lot better, but I'm just not doing it, so. Does Psy Shock to kill, that's not a big deal. Um Sigalift with energy ball to play. Or a crook with pursuit trap, potentially. Mega Metagross isn't bad either with th Thunder Punch, but he's got uh Ferrothorn ninety seven percent. Oh I want Keldeo misclick, 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 misclick. Oh my goodness. I have to go back into Sigalift here. Huge misclick on my part. If he has Ice Beam, that's gonna suck. I think he does. I want to scout for it. I want to. Okay, he's got an item, obviously. Thunderbolt. Oh, I do live. I do live. Does not knock him out. Does not knock him out. Uh, I can't go Crocodile. Not an option. This thing is such a big... Oh, man. That Thunder has screwed me up, man, with those Volt Switches. We got Pert injured, but Toad's just, an, uh, just a, a big threat right now. This Skull to finish me off. Um, If Ferrothorn was lower, my Crocodile just won. But uh, I, I got to go Quake here. I think it's the play. Uh, knockoff's fine, though. Knockoff's fine. Assault Vest Starmie, not bad. Okay. So Ferrothorn does only play. I mean, it's his only play. <laughs> he doesn't have any other play. He would not go into any other Mon. 
I could still win this with Keldeo if I get rid of Torn. Well, Torn can't Oko me with a Hurricane. That's a fact. He's Scarf, I'm sure. That's why he brought it in. He gets Focus Blast. Why would he? I'm going for it. And if our Ice won't kill me, that's not a big deal. He just gave me another boost. I don't know why he did that, but I mean, that's not a big deal. Gets in a toad to get a brain. I can knock off this thing right here and kill it. Uh, Pert shouldn't be able to win still, though. Because Caldeo takes a shot. It takes any shot from it. I, I wouldn't have done that right away, though. But, I mean, so be it. He's just letting me hurt this thing a lot. I almost kill, too. Wow. Let's go Gyra Ball. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, Keldio can still win this game. Easily. I want to Scald here really badly, but I can't risk it. Okay. I take a Hurricane. It depends which one he goes into first. I think I have to go Metagross right here and Bullet Punch. I think it's a play. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Does Hurricane. I know it gets Earth Power, but not a big deal to me, honestly. Uh, I think <sighs> Thunder Punch is a play. Or it does... What is, what is more? Uh, I don't want to risk a miss, though. I actually outrun it somehow. Oh, I got a para. Oh, my goodness. So he's running modest, then. And I can just go for a juicy bullet punch. And double, double, double bullet punch is the play. That's going to suck. I don't know why I outsped. Pre-mega. Pre-mega outsped. And bullet punch. And again, he can't Oko my Keldeo. With any move, including Earthquake, so that should be the game. I think he might have to go for a Waterfall Flinch here. Wait, can Quake kill me? I don't, I don't think it can from that range. It does not kill, so that's going to be a good game. Good game, man. Good game to crit, I win. <laughs> GG, okay, I got some class. Alright, that's going to seal the game here. That was a really tough match there with the rain. I haven't really tested it out, but thank you all for watching. I appreciate you guys coming back. Uh, and hopefully you show support on the video. And I haven't done showdown lives in a bit, in a while. So hopefully you guys do enjoy these. Uh, I have some fun trying to learn more about you know people, what people bring in tiers. So I'm gonna expect some more, uh, some more interesting lives in the future. And uh, yeah, guys, I'll catch y'all next time. Take care. Go Cougs.